Hey guys, good morning. So today uh, we're gonna we're gonna be doing something different today. We're gonna do some Ford OBS work. Uh, we're gonna be working on the Big Blue F350, which is a 460 powered gasser. Um, we're gonna swap out the rear leaf springs for some F550 springs, um, which is mostly a bolt-on operation, uh, but it does take a little bit of a uh, little bit of work here and there, a little bit of fitting. Uh, Got to redrill some holes and um, clearance a few items. And we're going to get these springs bolted on the back of that big, big badass blue uh, truck so that uh, the owner of the truck can carry, carry his trailer a little easier. Um, the current leaf spring setup is a traditional spring pack. Uh, I think they're four inch Skyjacker springs he's got on there. And they just don't carry the weight of that, extra weight of that trailer. Uh, so he needs, uh, he needs something a little heavier duty. So he decided to go with some F550 springs. And uh, we're going to go pick those up. We're also going to do a comparison in the video of where the truck sits with the trailer on it, uh, on the current springs, and then where the truck sits with the trailer on it with the F550 springs. Hey guys, so just a quick update on where we're at with the 550 springs. Um, we ran into a little bit of a problem with uh, the rear shackles. We were planning on using the shackles that came with the new springs. Um, so we, we had the 550 shackle and we were planning to fit that into the F350 shackle hanger that's on the back of the frame. Um, the 550 shackle diameter is so large where the bushing is that it won't fit all the way down into the bracket. So we're going to have to run the F350 shackles on the uh, F550 leaf springs so that it fits into the shackle hanger bracket. Unfortunately, we've already drilled the holes out, so that means that we're going to have to resize those holes back down to the stock size so that the stock bolt fits correctly uh, into the stock shackle. So that's going to take a little bit of work. What we're planning on doing here is taking some quarter inch plate, punching some holes in it, um, welding those quarter inch uh, washers, we'll call them, uh, back onto the shackle hanger bracket, uh, welding those in place to resize the holes, and then we'll bolt the shackle back into place.
So I cut the sag distance in half almost. Okay. Yeah, I, when it started coming down, I was like, oh shit. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I like, what the hell? But it didn't go down. No, I mean, it didn't. Watch it off. No, that's. That's close to what we're going to take. Okay guys, well we finished uh, finished the F550 spring conversion uh, on the F350 there, Kevin's blue F350. Uh, came out pretty good. The, uh, the conversion was mostly bolt-in. Um, we did run into a little bit of a problem that was self-inflicted where we had drilled out the uh, shackle, shackle hangers on the back of the frame for the F550 shackle hangers, or shackles, and um, Unfortunately, that didn't work out for us. The 550 shackles would not fit in the hanger, and uh, we didn't have the F550 shackle hangers in order to swap those out on the frame. So uh, what we had to do is go back to using the F350 shackles, which worked fine. Um, and uh, because we had drilled the bolt holes out, we had to make some, make some quarter-inch washers out of some plate. And we used the washers to resize the holes to the... Uh, F350 shackle bolts which are 9 16 and the uh, we had drilled them out to fit the F350 shackle bolts which were 5 8 so we had to take that hole and you know you can't can't shrink a hole unless you want to weld it up and redrill it so after we fixed the problem with the shackles we uh, were able to bolt everything back together um, Kevin had to order some longer U-bolts uh, so we could use the the 550 springs with the original block uh, because we the 550 springs alone were not enough height in the back of the truck so in order to get it level we had to use the 550 springs plus the original block and that leveled it out perfect as you see in the video that that truck's sitting nice and level uh, it's it's beautiful and and when we uh, set the trailer weight on it to test it because that was our whole objective of this project was to make sure yeah, you know, he didn't want the back of the truck sagging when he was carrying his trailer, so that's why we swapped to the 550 springs, uh, so that it could carry the extra weight of that of the tongue weight of that trailer, and uh, and instead of sagging the rear end down onto the ground, he wanted uh, he wanted to keep it at a reasonable height, uh, and the old four inch leaf springs um, couldn't deal with the extra weight of that trailer, so the 550 springs had no problems with the trailer. We dropped it on there; it sunk maybe an inch. Uh, and it's going to work out great. So uh, he's really excited about it. I think it came out great. It was a lot of fun to work on. Um, we truck, took the truck on a little bit of a drive. We did some highway. We did some side streets. And um, the springs are a little stiffer than, than the 4-inch uh, lifted springs that he had on there before. But it doesn't ride terribly. It rides better than my, uh, my 
7.3 diesel that rides like an empty dump truck. So his truck rides a lot better. I think it's completely acceptable. He's, he seems to be satisfied with it, and uh, I think he's going to be really happy towing with it the way it's set up now. We were able to get the springs from a local yard here uh, for a good price, and the springs are like brand new. So he's, uh, he's super excited about that. Um, conversion came out great. I, I think, you know, if I towed a lot with my truck, it would be something I'd want to do with mine as well because um, it was pretty easy to do really. Um, we're going to be doing a lot more video of that truck. We've got uh, a, a cam swap that's going to happen on that 460. We're also going to do some headers. Uh, so Kevin's going to going to get those parts on the way here pretty soon and uh, look for that video coming soon. Um, uh, my 7.3 diesel needs a, needs a ton of work as you can see in the videos that I've posted. And um, I'm going to be doing a full suspension swap on that truck. I'm going to go with uh, Super Duty radius arm front suspensions with the Super Duty Dana 50 as well as the Super Duty metric pattern 10 and a quarter to replace my 10 and a quarter. All that stuff's coming up in future videos. Uh, I'll be getting a lot of video of that truck soon. Uh, and hopefully we'll be doing that cam swap and header install soon on, the, on Kevin's Blue uh, F350. So that's going to wrap it up for today for us for the uh, F350 uh, F550 spring conversion that we did. Um, thanks for watching. If you like the videos, please click like and subscribe.